Hello all, let us look at a simulation using an op amp in LT Spice where we are going to generate a square wave. So this is a simple op amp circuit which has a positive feedback here. You can see here. So we know the gain of this uh, uh, positive feedback, right? Which will be 1 plus R2 by R1, correct? So this will be the gain of this particular feedback loop, right? So, um, and then apart from this uh, post, uh, positive feedback, on the non-inverting side, we have a RC filter, which basically uh, has a time constant of RC, so which determines uh, the timing of this capacitor charging. Okay, so uh, how much the output is going to, or this node is going to <coughs> get charged or increased, the voltage increased depends on this R and C values and we have LT1001 op amp to which positive and negative uh, rails are connected both, both of them are used here so uh, we are going to run this op amp till saturation which means uh, plus 5 volts to minus 5 volts uh, and uh, <coughs> with this simple circuit let us see how this circuit operates. Let us assume, uh, let us start with the analysis of 5 volts uh, being at the output already. Okay, and what happens is when there is 5 volts here, okay, uh, so um, this particular node, that means uh, this particular node here is having a voltage greater than this node that's why the output is positive right basically it's a comparator right and then once it is 5 volts slowly this capacitor starts charging okay so once this capacitor starts charging once it reaches this voltage this voltage this node voltage not 5 volts this node voltage and exceeds this this particular voltage becomes minus 5 volts okay so um, and then once it becomes minus 5 volts right so um, again slowly the capacitor starts discharging because this has a higher voltage this has a lower voltage so slowly the current uh, uh, flows to the output and this capacitor starts discharging once this capacitor starts discharging this voltage reduces once this voltage reduces basically this voltage slowly increases right this voltage reduces this voltage increases and once this voltage becomes less than this voltage that means voltage at the non-inverting terminal becomes more than uh, uh, the inverting terminal again the voltage jumps back to 5 volts. So this uh, is the operation of this particular circuit which <coughs> ultimately generates uh, a square wave output. So uh, <coughs> here we can see VCC we are giving 5 volts and VCC can give minus 5 volts. So this depends on uh, what voltage you want to operate this particular op amp. So, this circuit basically is called a active circuit which generates uh, a square wave output. This can also be called a stable um, multivibrator. So basically we have a triple five timer which uh, <coughs> which can be configured as an stable multivibrator, right? The internal uh, uh, circuit of this triple five timer can be said as the circuit, um, and uh, this uh, uh, is a standalone circuit apart from the triple five timer, and we are using uh, it to generate the square wave. So ultimately, uh, this uh, we are having voltages between minus five and plus five volts. Okay. Now let us try to run the circuit. Okay. 
and once we run the circuit um, we see that um, the circuit runs still how much whatever um, the voltage we have given here okay whatever sorry whatever the time period that we have uh, given here now if you see there are uh, ways where you want to start from uh, zero you can also configure uh, uh, the <laughs> transient uh, um, analysis such a way uh, for now we will restrict our discussion to a square wave um, so if, if we see here okay so it is basically a square wave that is being generated and um, you have um, a symmetric square wave which is coming up and then one point which we observe here is if we see this okay uh, there's a slight uh, uh, ramp up period so this again can be adjusted uh, by altering the circuit between um, <clears throat> like altering the R and C values to have a proper ramp up. So again, definitely because the circuits are not ideal, right? So there will be a slight ramp up condition. And one thing, uh, in between, we have mentioned that we are driving this saturation, right? Uh, at plus 5 minus 1, this actually um, is getting driven only till minus 4 volt to plus 4. That's one thing which we have to remember. And um, just one case, let us try to change the gain of the circuit. So, the, uh, <coughs> like let us have 4.7k as a resistance here, which is going to change or increase the gain, right? So, when we try to run this, okay. <coughs> You can see here the the circuit the waveform uh, is little um, unsymmetrical. It becomes little um, unsymmetrical, right? This is because uh, the charge and discharge cycles uh, um, have a slight uh, uh, variation with respect to the gain, and ultimately uh, it is very important that appropriate components are selected so the main reason why we do simulations here and uh, why is basically selecting the right component right doing a theoretical calculation uh, is a very tedious job that's why we do this uh, um, practical analysis and uh, um, come up with the values that are required so you can see here so a pure sine wave is being generated um, using an op-amp circuit which basically as we mentioned um, <coughs> is a, a stable multi-vibrator or a square wave generator circuit very simple circuit right uh, please post if you have any questions and please try to replicate the circuit on a breadboard and see how uh, the circuit is behaving um, practically thank you